One of the recurring themes you hear is the impending death of the mainstream media. A newspaper folds, TV ratings hit a new low, and all because of the internet. But once you get past the social sites, the cute home videos, and the <laughs> more questionable content, the dominant media sites are mostly mainstream, with familiar names populating the top 150 sites. In fact, you'd be hard-pressed to find many conservative sites in the top 1,000. Only news corporations Fox News and The Wall Street Journal could be considered conservative, and even then not always reliably. In a 50-50 nation, why the disparity? Well, for one, the mainstream media is still in the business of producing news, while conservative media seems to be happy producing opinion. Even in Jonathan Alter's Obama dreamland, it still takes a CBS News to tackle a story like Operation Fast and Furious. Others are merely aggregate sites. The Drudge Report's most famous moment was about a spike story. Remember, it took a mainstream reporter, not an opinion writer or a webmaster, to find out what was going on in the Clinton Oval Office. And Rush Limbaugh's famous stack of stuff? Well, it's the product of the mainstream media's newsrooms. Until we create a true, broad-based conservative news organization, we're stuck with what we've got. Finally, I have a little feature on my browser that tells you the rankings of the website you're visiting. Ouch. Okay, so we're not ready to take over the world. Not yet.